Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about one of the most misunderstood parts of BitSat, which is the BitSat chemistry section. People keep asking me, "Bhaiya, what chapters got deleted for GE means, and what about the distribution between physical, organic, and inorganic, and what about distribution between chapters, and what should we actually focus on?" That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. If you're new here, my name is Hari, and I got 340 in BitSat in 2019. So let's just get started into the video. So, bhaiya, ye organic, inorganic, physical, usme distribution kaise hota hai? Is it like more weight is given to a specific thing and less weight is given to something else? To be honest, the answer is no. And sometimes you might find that organic has a slightly lesser number of questions, maybe seven, eight questions out of thirty questions, and maybe physical has a slightly higher number of questions. But it keeps varying from one paper to another. By a standard rule of thumb, you should understand that there is an almost equal distribution given to organic. in organic and physical so don't think of skipping one of them if you're skipping one of them be ready to lose 33 percentage of the chemistry section let's start off with the inorganic section people ask me like bhaiya inorganic section it seems so difficult because so many chapters got deleted for je mains and what should we actually end up focusing on i'm going to give you a very very simple trick the two chapters are very important two chapters Which is chemical bonding and coordination compounds. Which means that if you have a strong hold over chemical bonding and coordination compounds, you will at least get three to four questions from those chapters. Which means out of ten questions, you've already gotten three, four, five questions. And the remaining five questions will be from slightly more theoretical inorganic chapters like maybe S block, P block, and hydrogen and polymers, biomolecules. So in order to get those six questions right, do you actually have to study six chapters? and that is a question that you need to ask yourself it really depends on your level of preparation do you want to go that extra mile to get that 18 20 marks and to most people it might seem 18 20 marks is a lot but in sir that time you can just focus more on solving papers and learning from the questions from ncert textbook because it, it is inorganic is one of those places where you need to keep revising over and over again otherwise it's just going to fall out of your head so keep that in mind and keep solving questions from inorganic and keep understanding the theoretical aspects of inorganic chemistry as well and both chemical bonding and coordination chem compounds are both logical in nature so you have to understand the lone pair you have to understand molecular orbital theory and chemical bonding will be it will be asked with the different shapes of different compounds and based on the hybridization the shapes might change and there are exceptions for that as well so make sure to keep a list of that and try to understand how the hybridization changes with the shape and how the shape changes with the hybridization and keep refining on that because there's a lot of questions coming from there in especially in the previous years and especially from coordination compounds have a strong understanding of molecular orbital theory what is a strong field ligand and what is a weak field ligand and how a strong field ligand and how that really changes the how that changes the shape and hybridization as well so keep those things in mind because it will really help you boost your score let's get to the next part of the chemistry paper which is organic chemistry bhai yeah, organic chemistry mein what is actually important there is a huge syllabus in organic chemistry and there are questions which really go up to ge advanced level and even higher than that what should we actually prepare for organic chemistry To be honest, there are two very things that you need to understand in inorganic chemistry, which is named reactions from NCERT. Understand all the named reactions like alcohol condensation, Kanazawa reaction, Yarman Koch, and whatever named reactions in NCERT. Make sure to understand them and try to understand how you can derive the products if the reactants and reagents are given, and try to understand the mechanism involved in those kind of reactions as well. And at the same time, try to understand the various electronic effects involved as well. And you understand, given that there are a series of compounds, you'll be asked them to rank based on the pH, the melting points, the solubility, the boiling point, and how that changes with steric hindrance, how that changes with hydrogen bonding. You'll have to understand all that. And I think NCERT is a very good source to understand that. And in case, in in case you feel like you need more practice. in organic chemistry i don't recommend this to everybody but if you feel like you need to get like 300 plus or something like that then i think himanshu pandey is a good source for solving organic chemistry problems so make sure to look at himanshu pandey questions but otherwise just focus on solving with that marks and understanding the bitsat level of questions for organic chemistry and you will be set now let's come to the last part of the chemistry paper which is the physical chemistry part People ask me, "Bhaiya, is physical chemistry NCERT is enough for it? And how should we actually go about practicing physical chemistry? Because there will be a lot of numericals coming from physical chemistry." To be honest, the answer is we can divide it into three different parts. 
there are certain chapters like surface chemistry where you can understand everything from the NCRT textbook and NCRT textbook is the absolute source of truth for a chapter like surface chemistry and you'll be able to get a lot of information from that and there are certain other chapters like mold concept there's redox reactions liquid solution solid state atomic structure these things they require practice and for that you need to understand the concepts the formula and the application of it and these guys these chapters are on the easier side of physical chemistry so make sure you don't miss out on them and make sure to solve problems on them so that you get a big boost in your score as well but then there are a difficult section of chapters in physical chemistry as well which are the chemical equilibrium the ionic equilibrium the electrochemistry so in case you feel like these chapters are on the tougher side and you don't know them just at least try to understand the formula and see some solved examples so that you were able to solve these problems and as far as physical chemistry is concerned solving problems is the best way to go about things i had a book called rc mukherjee where i used to see the solved examples for each of them and i used to understand okay this is how you solve this problem this is how you solve the next problem it's a some slightly higher level because it has a lot of tough questions which prepare you for je advanced as well but we don't need that level of questions and to be honest the best way to go about physical chemistry organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry is by solving papers solve papers full syllabus papers for bitsat and the best way and the best way to do that is by doing mock tests and bhai mock test kahan se kare kya kare to be honest there are not a lot of great mock tests are available and most most of the mock tests they are not reflecting the actual bitsat level and they just keep the level of questions really high or really low and people don't really understand and people don't prepare well for bitsat this is exactly why we have come up with bitsat busted for you guys a bunch of bitsians who have done extremely well in bitsat of the previous years we have come together and created a great platform for you to practice the best mocks available for you there are 15 mock tests available for you to solve in the period of 20 days if you solve them diligently wisely religiously in the period of 20 days trust me you will see a huge boost in the score and on top of that there are mentors to assist you and weekends may we have discussions on the mock tests as well this is so that you guys see an improvement and a jump in your score as well so let's do a quick recap for If you're someone who's struggling in inorganic chemistry, focus on chemical bonding and coordination compounds, and understand the remaining inorganic chemistry chapters from NCERT questions and by reading the NCERT textbook. For organic chemistry, make sure to go through the NCERT textbook, read the named reactions of the NCERT textbook, and understand them. Learn how to solve problems with them. See how a reagent and how different reactions uh, can fall through. and for physical chemistry make sure to solve as many problems as possible problem solving is the best way for physical chemistry if you feel like you're getting stuck somewhere in physical chemistry make sure to look at the solved examples so that you understand that with this type of question i can solve it in this way so maybe i can apply that logic in the new question which is coming up as well and trust me the physical chemistry questions in bitsat are slightly above the ncert level but it's not above the je means level for sure so make sure to solve them from bitsat mocks the best bitsat mocks available are the bitsat busted mock because you have mentorship support you have mock tests and you have a great platform for mock tests this is the end of the video of bitsat chemistry if you did like the video make sure to share with your friends and make sure to subscribe to the channel so there are a lot more videos coming up just for you guys i'll see you until the next video bye bye